Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about Lazy from CyberSec Labs. So let's jump into the Nmap scan and we notice that we have SSH open, we have HTTP open and we also have the two Samba ports open. Now from these, Samba is probably the one that I would check out first. Um, things you can check is the Samba version, you can check uh, an authorized uh, login without, without credentials or a username. Um, so let's see if we can find anything for this version, for example. So we're going to do a search exploit for Samba with this version. And we'll see that there is an exploit for this. Uh, the is known pipe name arbitrary module load. And there's even a metasploit module for this. So we'll copy this and then we'll Google that. And from Googling that, we will get to this article from Rapid7 themselves saying, OK, uh, so Samba is known uh, pipe name arbitrary module load and this says this module triggers an arbitrary shared library load vulnerability in Samba versions. Uh, okay, this, re this module requires valid credentials, a writable folder and knowledge of the server side path of the writable folder. And then it says in some cases anonymous access combined with common file system locations can be used to automatically exploit this vulnerability. So let's check uh, which ones we have. So first of all, we're going to check val valid credentials. So for that, we can use crack map exec. We'll then specify SMB and we'll then specify the IP address. And then we'll say, uh, we'll use a user that doesn't, uh, like an empty user, empty password. And then we'll also specify dash dash shares. So if it finds a match, it's going to show us which shares we can connect to. And we see, okay, that was a valid login. So you can log in without a username and without a password. And we have read write permissions over this public share. So let's see. So we have valid credentials now. And we have a writable folder. We don't really have knowledge of the server side path, but um, that might be guessable. For example, public uh, it could be a public user, so in slash home, or, or uh, if that's not the case, we could check different stuff. Um, so let's take a look at this Metasploit module right now. So we're going to. We're going to search for uh, what was it? is known pipe. No, it was uh, is. Um, let's just search for Samba. Search Samba. And then we have to find is known pipe name. OK, here it is. So we can use that one. And I will see, say, show options to look at all the options we have. So we have to specify our hosts. Um, OK, so set our hosts to our IP address. And then we can try running that because that, that's all it needs. Um, okay. So it seems like it's doing something. Um, so let's see, it uh, retrieved the remote path of the share. Then the share has server side path uh, slash home slash public. So it was able to figure that out on its own. And that's what we guessed as well. So then it's going to upload a payload. Uh, it's then going to try loading the payload. Can't find them in two different ways. But then it's going to try a new payload. Trying to load that one. And the payload response. And now we have a command shell. So if we do ID now, we see, okay, we're root. This is an SH shell. Let's quickly see if we can upgrade, upgrade this one. So I'm quickly going to make this TTY by spawning a bin bash with Python. So there we go. Now we have a better shell. And if you say, who am I? We see, hey, we are root of this system now. So that was everything for this box. It was a, a very uh, easy box showing you a one of the, the things with, with SMB that maybe some people overlooked to look at the version. Um, but that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and I'll see you back for another video. Take care.